means I'm wondering if this is too blurry. Um, today's I'm working on an altered card. I'm um, not altered card, sorry, on a um, index card. <laughs> altered card. And this is one of my old rub offs, uh, the film stencil that I've had. And I wanted to play around with it. Um, so I think. I was playing with metallic lusters and things like that, so I think I really want to play with those still. I'm still in the mood. So um, that's what I've been doing today, is just playing with metallic lusters. And so I'm, what I do is I have these different colors, and I absolutely love them. And this is lavish green, so let's play. I'm playing with them. You guys, if you have any kind of cream, um, twistable sticks and things like that, I mean, you could use that. It won't. Some of them have the the kind of sheen to them. Some of them don't. So, what I'm doing, I'm just adding color to my card with this makeup sponge and my um, metallic lusters. So I'm just kind of using that to paint the or yeah paint the wheel on here to make that pop a bit without covering too much of what it looks like I thought that would be really cute to play with today I'm really enjoying these so I have um, gold uh, rose gold And I'm trying to think of where I'm trying to keep my sponges um, clean here, somewhat. This is a pretty color, so I'm just kind of playing with them, adding a really nice background to what I have of as a, a clean off of my. Um, stencil already so just add some nice sheen and color it's gonna add it to and you could just kind of like either pile the colors on or you know see what goes I've got some purple here and this is majestic purple playing with these has been really fun It's kind of like um, abstract <laughs> index card, so pretty cool. And there we go. Ah. Now I think I could pop it with some blue, maybe. This is um, cosmic blue. So if you have different colors, you can just kind of experiment with them. I'm just going to put a couple tabs of colors on here. Just like that. So it's kind of just like making a background for anything really. Um, Happening. Red's always a nice color here. Make things pop. Now, what I find is really neat is that if you have too much of something. You can even just slightly spray it with some alcohol spray or just spray your cloth, pull some back, blend it in a bit with it. It's kind of neat how you can use your alcohol spray in different ways. So I'm just spraying a little bit more on there. And of course a lot of it will evaporate so it's okay. I'm not going crazy and wetting your card, but I'm finding that's really nice too. 
pull back some color, blend it in a bit, because it's the, the way the lusters are, they dry pretty quickly. And now look how nice and blended that is. I mean, it's just something I'm doing. It could be wrong, could be right, I don't know, but I really enjoy it, the color. So that's what I've been doing, guys. I've just been playing with these lusters and enjoying them. So I think I'm going to use my stamp that Nikki made me. Is this one too big? I have to use it. And this is the Superman stamp that Nikki Parr made me, so I am going to use it for the first time. And I'm going to make my Super Index card. I'm really grateful that I have this really lovely archival ink pad. It was so big, so nice. So such a big stamp, I might just cover it this way and put it down. Look for my roller, I think I moved it. And just push it this way because it's such a big stamp. It'll make I think it'd be easier for me to push it this way on this particular card because card's so small. Oh, isn't that pretty? Love it! Oh, and I even love the um, effect that I got from the background. That is so cool. Thank you, Nikki. I love that. So I'm just using the alcohol spray to get the ink right off real fast, and then I can rinse off with the, a little bit of soapy water after to get the so the ink doesn't dry up. And I just love how that kind of went... Um, a little bit of a resist with the metallics. That's really cute. I think my index card turned out pretty super. What do you think? I do, I do. I know I usually put my um, video on pause when I drive, but it's so already um, pretty dry and just took a second to dry the rest of it off but I just left it so now I'm just going to ink the edges and I think this index card is simple yet perfect and I'm leaving it just as it is it's my super index card playing with my lusters mixing them and seeing how they react with the alcohol it was a really fun test and seeing how the colors work together is really awesome. And then just having a super stamp on top. <laughs> and um, I think that this one's done. Guys, I'm very pleased with it. And you know what? I think this iCAD is perfect. It couldn't get any more super with, uh, you know, with Nikki Parr and myself working together. Look at this. Isn't that awesome? I love it. Thank you again, Nikki. This is so great. I'm going to date this. Um, today, it's 2016. We don't have to move that date. I'm going to date this. I haven't dated anything in a long time. I just keep forgetting to date. <sighs> and I'll have to test stamp it because... Mm -hmm. Because... What am I doing? 29th, it'll be. And it's 2016. And I think I got that wrong. And the month, of course, is, wow, guys, help. Did I really turn this all the way around? Okay, got to figure this puppy out. I, I was, like, trying to figure it out. Why can't I? I can't read it writing. Uh, writing is really t difficult to read for me today backwards handwriting printing I could read no problem okay so I did have it on the right one but now I'm going to stamp it just because 
This one's so special. Where should I stamp it? I think I'm going to stamp it right here because it made a natural little border here. And there we go. This is the date I think that you guys will be seeing this. Sunday is the 29th, I hope. Is that incorrect? I'm sorry. Anyway, there we go. Super job. Thanks for watching, guys. Easy, but really cute card. Talk to the haters. Don't forget to craft like a duck. Look at my fingers. Oh, my goodness. Bye, guys. <laughs>